Last video about the PD4045 install for my cargo trailer conversion. Um, as I mentioned before, the left side is the converter, middle is DC, right is AC. The way that it's set up is so that you can have um, tandem breakers. So if you notice here, I've got my 3015 and then the rest are 2020 tandems. Uh, they are Square D HOMT, which is the home line version with the T for tandem. Uh, this is the 30 amp breaker and the 15 amp. 30 amp is my supply, which is why we have the hold button uh, tab. And then the 15 is from the converter. So the converter comes over with the white, green, and black. White goes back on the, or comes here on the Ford on the uh, neutral bus and then the green goes back to the ground bus and then the black goes straight up to the um, 15 amp breaker. These other uh, six are my six branches um, and I've got them labeled. Number three is actually my left side of the trailer GFCI breaker, or not breaker, outlet. And then um, number eight is actually my right side uh, or GFCI branch. So, and then I've got my others labeled to each of my outlets. So that my AC side is all outlets. My DC side runs my lights, my water pump, and everything like that. And so, um, here on the back, you've got your two red 30 amp wires, and the rest are rated for 15 amp or lower. And so I've used 16 gauge wire to connect them all. I just use twist connects. Um, to each of those. So I brought my negative into here, and then I have my neutral, excuse me, my positive with these. My neutral or negative bar is here on the bus that is um, ground bar bus. And then I actually, when I talked to the progressive dynamics guy, uh, I know a lot of us talked about having this floating. He told me to ground it to chassis. So I have it grounded to chassis. And then also the ground, off my ground of my AC side, I have grounded the chassis here as well. So, the problem that I had, which was really ridiculous, was actually at the battery. I had initially gone straight to the battery, negative, negative to negative, positive to positive, and that was wrong. And so what I, I've done is I went from the negative over here it needs to ground to chassis so I have from the negative ba battery post here to the chassis and then that one goes to the um, n this is the negative wire up to the negative post in the distribution panel and then here on the positive side I'm going to mount this later but positive side I connect the positive battery post I have a 50 amp breaker because it's a 45 amp um, panel. So, here. And, um, and then I have, so this is the battery side. Copper is the battery side. Silver is the um, accessory side, or for, in my instance, the distribution panel. So, that is my setup to the PD4045 Progressive Dynamics. Um, distribution panel with converter. Also just to show you real quick, so I have my progressive PD4045 set up in the nose. I'm going to mount that uh, later coming in from my shore. I didn't mention that in the video earlier. The shore comes in um, through the back and that's 10 gauge and then all of my other is 12 gauge for 20 amp and, um, and then so I've already insulated everything. I've got my ceiling air conditioned vent in and, and one of my lights mounted I am going to glue up the rest of the insulation and then put my um, quarter inch plywood up for the ceiling there as well there will be a little slight transition here because this is two inch which is one inch and I have insulated my trailer with one inch all around this section in the ceiling has two inch insulation the rest will be one inch everywhere else and so the wires that are hanging, I'll actually, when I, I'm putting the walls up, starting to put them back up now, and the um, wires will be out, but I'm going to have a little 45-degree um, angle piece of wood. There's a trim that will hide all of my wires, 
so I still have access to them um, without having to take too much apart if there's any wiring issues. And then in later I'll show you how I finish up my solar panel. These are coming uh, positive and negative from the solar panel. And so just a little quick view of my installation. The tape is just temporary because it's slightly small enough to where it won't stay in place until I get the wood up and um, insulate it in. And I'm putting my boards up. And the way that the factory did is the trim goes over the front of this. And so they left big gaps in between, but there's a large four inch um, trim that goes over these gaps. So I'll show you when I'm done, getting it back, the walls back up.